I think it's, it's twofold. Uh, I think one is individuals are taking a lot more control of their own health and health care. And they have a lot better ability to change rapidly. There's more information available to them. Uh, so it's, it's a different level of almost retail kind of behaviors from individuals than there has been historically. We have to start treating people like they are, in fact, uh, retail consumers. So every interaction needs to be thought about uh, from a standpoint, how do I create a positive interaction for people? And what do I do differently? As opposed to uh, knowing that they're going to come back for services, knowing they may be uh, forced into a particular area or service and say, you know what, I can change. I, as an individual, I can make my own decisions. I, you know, I control my own money in a lot of ways now where I never had that kind of motivation before. We're doing it in a couple ways. So one is we actually have, have actually brought people into our company from retail operations to understand how differently to market people, to engage people in a sustained level. Uh, engagement is really good. You can get lots of engagement for short periods of time, trying to do that over an extended period of time uh, for service offerings that matter to people over time uh, is a real challenge. And so we spend a lot of time trying to think about not just individual engagement at one point in time, but how we make that valuable and sustainable over time. We're doing it in a couple ways. So one is we actually have, have actually brought people into our company from retail operations to understand how differently to market people, to engage people in a sustained level. Uh, engagement is really good. You can get lots of engagement for short periods of time, trying to do that over an extended period of time uh, for service offerings that matter to people over time uh, is a real challenge. And so we spend a lot of time trying to think about not just individual engagement at one point in time, but how we make that valuable and sustainable over time. can take more control of their own health. Uh, I think oftentimes uh, individuals, when they were seeking uh, care, uh, were uh, at the behest of uh, kind of whoever they were going to to seek care or the particular location they were going to seek care. Uh, there are lots more options available to them, lots more information available to them. Uh, I think people are more willing to engage uh, in their own health. I think that has a, a huge opportunity uh, to, to change healthcare. Uh, I also think that uh, all the healthcare players uh, can get better integrated. Uh, you know, we all have our own perspectives and our own motivations of how we can be successful as a company and how we can hopefully positively influence individuals. Uh, the better we're able to actually coordinate that, align our incentives so that we're all in the same place, I think we can have a, a material influence on people's care. I like the summits. I like summits like this uh, for a couple reasons. Uh, one is, frankly, it's, it's tough to get out of the office. You know, most of us are in, in pretty busy worlds. Uh, frankly, it's encouraging and engaging to hear very smart people talk about topics uh, that we all share in how we might solve them, what the issues might be. Uh, so anytime you can get a whole bunch of smart people sitting around talking about these things, you learn things, you challenge things, and frankly, interacting with people even after the sessions and between the sessions to do the same kind of thing, to talk about the kind of problems and challenges we have and how we might solve them together.